Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Oracle Linux Standard 0 on VirtualBox. First go to oracle.com and download oracle.com then click on products scroll down then click on Linux then download Oracle Linux then click on this Oracle Linux installation media see here we have the four types of ISO images full ISO, EK, boot ISO, boot ISO and source is okay i am going to download full is see here full is boot is and source is okay so you can see the differences here they have given the definition but the installation process is same click on this oracle linux r10 dvd is image click on it to download no need to register go to downloads see its size is about 8 gigabytes i am cancelling this one because i have already downloaded in your case wait until download completes once download is completed, then open VirtualBox. You can't install VirtualBox. Then go to Start Virtual. See here we have the Oracle VirtualBox. Click on it to open. Then click on New R Mission and select New. Both are same. Then provide the name for the virtual mission. I'm giving. Then VMO. This is just virtual machine name. Then select the folder to store this virtual machine files and folders. See, this is the default location. If you want some other location, click on drop down and select other. Then select the path where you have the enough space to store this virtual machine files and folders. Then create a folder for this one. Enter. Select. Now select the downloaded ISU image. Click on click on drop down and select other. Then select the downloaded ISO image. Click on open. See, once you select it, type change it to Linux, subtype to Oracle Linux, version is Oracle Linux 64 bit. Then select the checkbox that is skip unattended installation. Then go to hardware, by default memory selected 2 GB. I am giving 4 GB, number of CPU cores it is 1, so change it to 2. These are based on availability. Then hard disk, I am giving 50 GB, it is up to you based on the availability. For okay with all the settings, click on finish. Now, Still, you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, right click and select <coughs> settings or select it and click on settings or select it and machine and go to settings. Okay, all three options are same. The only option that I want to change is go to settings, then system. I am going to change pointing device to USB tablet, otherwise, pointer will go to this top right corner so to avoid that we have to click on select it and we have to click on ok if you are okay with all the settings then click on start or right click select start and normal start both are same select it and click on start use up and down arrows and select the first one that is install Oracle Linux standard 0 and hit enter Now select the language and click on continue. See the begin installation is grayed out. Why? Because see the options that are marked with red color must be filled. So click on installation destination. I am okay with the default. So click on done. Then root to account. See if you want to disable, select disable. If you want to enable, select it. enable. Then provide the password for the root account. It is up to you. Then confirm the same. Then allow root SSH, root SSH login with password. Then click on done. Again done. User creation. Now provide user full name. And this is the username. And this see the checkboxes. Add administrative privileges this user account. Okay. And require a password to use this account. Then provide the password for this account. Confirm the same. Then click on done. See, now we are able to click on begin station and go to software selection. See here, base environment, server with UI, server, minimal, workstation, custom operating system and virtualization host. Based on these options, these additional software selection will be changed. Okay, I am going with server with UI. If you want to select 
any one of these additional softwares you have to just select these option check boxes okay whatever you want you can select then click on done if you want to change the time and date you have to select and you have to select the time zone i'm okay with the defaults click on okay if you are okay with all the settings, review these settings one more time. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on begin installation. See, installation has been started. This will take time. Okay, I am going to pause this video. And then it will ask us to reboot the system. Then we will reboot the system and we will perform the post installation steps. In the meantime, please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. See, download is completed. Now click on reboot system. Now click on the username and provide the password. Hit enter. See, welcome to Oracle Linux Server 10.0. Skip this one. Now click on Show Applications. Now click on Application Menu. Then open Terminal. See, font size is too low, so increase the font size of the terminal. Click on drop down, click on this three horizontal lines, then go to preferences. Then select any one of these palettes, then go to font, click on this one, then select the custom font, then select it on a bolt, increase the font. Select it, select it, click on close. See, font size has been increased. Now we're the version of the Oracle Linux that we have installed more slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have installed Oracle Linux server 10.0. Quit to quit, control A. Now update the packages. The first step after connecting to Oracle Linux is we have to update the packages sudo dnf update. Ampersand, ampersand, sudo, dnf, upgrade, hit enter, provide the password of sudo user, hit enter. Type and hit enter. Again. See, we have successfully updated the packages. Okay, now go to show applications. See, these are the default applications that comes with Oracle Linux Server 10.0. Okay, so in this video, we have seen how to download and install Oracle Linux Server 10.0 on VirtualBox. Okay, for more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.